Hi, uh, I'm Kim Kleister. I am Madison Keys. Bianca Andreescu. Daniel Collins. And I'm from Belgium. It played for the United States. And I'm from Canada. And I'm from Florida. Kamal Murray, founder of the Access Tennis and Education Foundation in Chicago and tournament director of the Chicago Fall Tennis Classic. because they see Derrick Rose, he went to high school, grammar school right across the street. They see Michael Jordan, they can buy a Bulls ticket. You know what I mean? They can go and see basketball, right? And so that's why they aspire to play basketball. So if you're gonna you know, convince kids that tennis is something they should pursue uh, on a collegiate level and maybe even beyond, you gotta put it in front of them. You know, you gotta see it to believe that you can be it. And so the goal of this facility was to create a cradle to grave opportunity for these kids. So this tournament is the grave and the kids are the cradle. And so even if, you know, a club in the suburbs was free. It's still an hour drive. And so putting it here on the south side where, you know, kids can get here within one train or one bus. Um, they can walk here from this neighborhood. Uh, and then those from outside the community that might have a little more resources are welcome to drive, you know, and be a part of the, uh, of the family. So that, that's why I think this location was ideal uh, because it was built to in, intended to serve or to make sure that a certain population of people were not excluded as they were historically. So we've sent about 50 kids to college with full scholarships. Um, We've got you know, two kids that are now working in agencies. We've got three kids that are now head coaches at uh, Division One and Two schools. Um, we service about 23 kids, 2,300 kids a year um, through our in-school and on-site programs uh, here. And you know, overall, I think we probably have about 6,000 people come to the building versus you know, where there's tournaments or leagues or um, you know, special events here. So you know, it's got a broad reach. I mean, what was a really a community-based program just to serve people in a very narrow radius is now, you know, as you can see, a global attraction. So we've got, you know, playing at this tournament, we have four Grand Slam champions, 16 of the top 25, 36 of the top 50, uh, a Hall of Famer who's making her comeback, um, and, you know, Grand Slam doubles champions, uh, some of the best coaches in the world, right, are here coaching those players. So it's just all around exposure to the, to the to the facility and to the city. This is my first time ever in Chicago, so I've never played here, I've never visited here. It's my husband is American, so it was it's always been his favorite its favorite American city. So um, yeah, I've, we've had a couple of dinners and walked around a little bit. So so far, I've uh, I've really been been impressed, and the, the view out of my hotel room is absolutely amazing. So. It's, uh, it's been a really nice few days here so far. From the day that Kamal started talking about Excess, I was completely behind it. I think it's incredible, and I think he is kind of starting, hopefully, the first of many um, places where the Access is available to more and more people. Hopefully he becomes the kind of foundation of many facilities like this. Yeah, it's an incredible feeling being able to travel for your sport. Um, I've been traveling since the age of 12 and I've built fan bases from a very young age. And you know, I'd go to some tournaments and they'd be like, oh, I remember you when you were like 13, 14 and just seeing you grow is super fun and incredible. So having that support from other nations, not just Canada or Romania, it, it changes the whole game. Definitely seeing those ball kids will be amazing. I already signed some autographs after practice and they're super sweet. They were yelling, I love you, Bianca. And to me, that's what my sport is all about. Just having that backlash from other people means so much to me and having them during my matches will be even better. That's one of the most special things about tennis is the people that you get to meet along the way and the time that you get to spend and share and, and I know, um, I think that it had just as positive of an impact on me being around the kids as it did for them. So I, I feel like I was the one that really benefited from being able to have a nice chill uh, afternoon eating pizza, sharing some good stories, having some good chats. and. Um, yeah, I think as, as adults, it does just as much for us as it does for the kids. I love the, the coziness of it. Um, I love, you know, we, for years, you know, you, you play on, on a lot of really big events, and, and I love 
like the fact that you can you know walk in between the courts and seeing the players compete and then right next to it like you see the people sitting there and watching it so I think it, you get a lot closer to the tennis players which is when I was younger what I loved doing when I was a junior play, you know playing you know tournaments and seeing the professional athletes and so I love the fact that you can get close um, to to the fans and the fans can get close to the players and um, and kind of see it yeah, more up close. I think it's absolutely amazing that more and more people of color are playing tennis. I think for ever, basically, in tennis, it's been a pretty white-dominated sport. And to see tennis growing to everyone, I think, is really great. And I think the more that we can empower people to play, no matter where you come from, what color your skin is, even if you're not a professional tennis player, if we can get more accessibility to tennis for everyone um, it can open so many doors and i think it's um something that i'm really really happy is happening i first entered sort of this, this sphere or this orbit um you know i didn't play pro tennis so never really aspired to play pro tennis at all uh, but you definitely are like an outlier and i think you know having been on tour for a while having had some success that can never be taken away from you um, it, that makes you feel a little more secure in your position and it inspires you to push the envelope and encourage people, uh, you know, who are decision makers to kind of push with you. I grew up in a family that really instilled a lot of pride, a lot of confidence. I've got a lot of friends who are very successful, a lot of, uh, you know, donors and people who are very successful. So, you know, big goals are not intimidating to me because I've seen people around me sort of you know, aspire and achieve, you know what I mean? And they, when they start a process, they expect it to be successful. And I, I've tried to adopt that same mentality. There's no way, no, no matter how ambitious the, pro, you know, the project is, just to go into it with belief, otherwise you don't do it. Like tennis, again, in America is like the sixth or seventh most popular sport. There are not a lot of tournaments on American soil. You got the US Open, you got Charleston, Indian Wells, Miami. A lot of that, you see tournaments kind of come and go. And so, you know, in order for this to make it sustainable, you need a lot of support from sponsors, I support for the city, good ticket sales. And so, um, you know, for this to happen again, we need all those things to kind of go right because no one's going to do this event and get some pretty pictures and lose money on it, right? That's not our mission. Our mission is to use this event as a fundraiser to help the found, you know, fund scholarships for the foundation. If we, you know, stick a fork on the ground and say, hey, we're going to do this again next year, then I hope that the uh, philanthropic community, the sort of all the sponsors, come back and commit in a bigger way, um, you know, so that this tournament can be even better than it is now. I mean, look. We just had to do it at the last minute, and we got a 500 level event with all the top players. People have never been to Chicago, having a great experience there in a great hotel, eating great food, taking pictures at the Bean, you know, with a year of planning and really a, you know, post COVID, a solid spot on the calendar. This could be one of the best tournaments in the world.